Hey guys, Ross here and here and welcome to the episode of Ross Draw. I feel like I haven't been in my space for a while, um, but I ran out of toilet paper, so I had to go run out and go get some. I thought it'd be a great time to do a personal piece. So I'm gonna do a painting of my own character, Nima. She's really special when me created her in class. I gave birth to her in school. Weird line. I was really happy when I made her, you know, because I thought she had something really special, you know, with red skin and white hair. She's like a strong female character. She can like turn to a phantom and she has like capes. Oh, I am a cape guy. No, no, wait, let me start that over. I am a cape guy. I like capes. So this is a representation of me liking capes. A lot of my paintings have like capes and kind of hoodies and kind of overall kind of ponchos. Ross draws! What the, what's my character's name? <laughs> Nima! <laughs> I forgot her name! <laughs> hey guys, yeah, I thought this would be a great time to bring back some sketching. So I had a hello. Oh. <laughs> Maybe she's on a horse, you know, and uh, there's cherry blossom. I'm gonna use a dark pink because the white canvas kind of scares me. It's kind of scary making the first mark, you know, so I'm just gonna just kind of scribble. She just has a cape. Ooh, capes. I like drawing that jawline early on because uh, like a great kind of just indication. I like uh, filling in the shadow of the eye socket, just trying to guide me along. I'm almost trying to make it as simple as possible, you know, uh, let the big shape breathe for itself. She has a sword there. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that sword line right there. I think it's really important early on to figure out what we're painting. So I try to make it really clear and obvious what things are and the guideline. I have her and maybe she's on a horse. This is a tree and she's holding a sword. Simple. Later we can finesse and add and it's easier when we have a strong foundation. After I have a rough idea of what I want, I'm just gonna start blocking them with paint. So I will see you guys later. Hey, this is uh, what I have so far. I'm trying to make it really simple and bold about what it is. Even from a really small thumbnail, you know, I want it to be appealing. From here, I would maybe uh, block it in with the shadow color. Oh, bring up your color picker. So I would pick this color and uh, I would make it a little more saturated and a little more darker. This is more saturation, by the way. And I would make it a little more darker. With this simple foundation here, I can go in and sculpt and carve and like flesh things out. Um, so yeah, here's the current state of it. Um, I'm pretty happy with uh, where it's going. You guys have been asking me about brush strokes. Um, I think brush strokes are more like instinctual and after a while you kind of get a better grasp of how to use them. And here's a simple method that I like to use uh, to make brush strokes. You set your main brush to like a round hard brush and then you set your eraser to like a textured brush, you know, like uh, kind of hairy, like a, like, like a hairy brush. You erase out and it becomes like a nice kind of edge. Really nice stroke like that. And then maybe I can like kind of erase that like that. It gives you like a nice control over making the brush stroke, but keeping the essence of the shape. If I want this pattern here, if I want it to fade a little bit, I can just erase out this part. I use this method a lot, you know, like um, if I'm trying to make like cool patterns or like a cool stroke or something, kind of gesture it like that. And then I kind of just erase out the things I don't need. I hope you like it so far. Uh, go give it a try and I'll check back soon. Hey Nima, guess what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's color dodging time! Oh man, here we go. You ready to get some color dodging on you? Oh man! Whoosh. Whoosh. On the face of the oh. That bounce? Oh, beautiful. She looks like she needs some toilet paper. Woo! Nima's day at the salon. <laughs> Breather. Ooh. I love you. Nima. Bye. Yeah, this week's extended tutorial, I talk more about texture laying and brush strokes and mark making. If you're interested in that and how I finished it, please check out my Patreon. You guys sent me a bunch of messages wondering if you guys are crazy or you guys saw me on the recent episode of Last Ship. 
Well, you guys are still crazy, but yeah, that's me. Print giveaway winner is Zachara! I hope I said that right. Yes, expect a private message soon and I will give you a print. This episode's question is, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I feel like some of you guys are cheating because you give me two to ten answers. Leave your reply below and I will choose a lucky subscriber. Where'd Bambi go? Oh, there you are! Hi! Huh, is that your cape? Do you know where you are? I think that's a no.